and welcome to The Big Picture, where today we're discussing the IPL matches ban in Maharashtra in view of the drastic drought situation in the state. Was it a much-needed step or mere tokenism? The IPL Governing Council, for one, is not happy with the Bombay High Court's decision to shift all matches from the state from 30th of April, and reports say that they may request the court to allow one match in Pune. While uh, we, of course, wait and see of what eventually happens there with their meeting with the BCCI, questions, of course, are being raised on whether IPL ended up as a soft target. And the court just played to the gallery, perhaps. What with the social media and activists up in arms about the wastage of water. So joining us on the debate today, we've got BGP spokesperson Shambit Patra joining us. We also have former Vice President of the India Water Partnership, Dr. Kamta Prasad, and Manish Chibar, who's the Chief of the Bureau of the Indian Express with us. Uh, Dr. Prasad, if I could come to you first, since the question is very simple. Was it, uh, you know, the IPL being a soft target? Was it mere tokenism or was this actually a much-needed step? The question is, see, we are dealing with, with an emergency situation. And therefore, emergency situation requires emergency policies. And policies are already there for that purpose. It simply costs the imp implementation. The Maharashtra government has a state water policy, you know that. Government of India also has a state policy, mm. uh, national water policy. The third national policy is there. Maharashtra government has a policy. And it is in the process of revising it at the moment, Mahas government. In all the policies, national water policy as well as the state water policy, drinking water receives the highest priority. And commercial use of water the low, lowest priority. So from a theoretical perspective, mm. the IPL use of water belongs to the commercial category. It must have the lowest priority. So when people are dying of water, so where the water should go? Mm. It must go to the people first, rather than to the commercial enterprises. Isn't it? Uh, the point is that the commercial interest should look into things that, well, are there other options? Could timing be there? Could be held somewhere else? It's not that it can be held only at that very place. Mm. Isn't it? So this is the point is that there is a national policy. There is the, there is the legal angle also, because the Constitution of India doesn't say anything on this issue, but Supreme Court, of India in a landmark judgment in 1996 has said that drinking water must have a primary place in the use of water. Mm. And Andhra Pradesh High Court in 2002 said that, well, water belongs to, is the fundamental right. Under the Article 20, 21 of the Constitution of India, our right mm. to live. Kerala High Court followed the same thing in, in 2000 and 2006. So we look at it legal, from legal perspective or from policy perspective. Commercial use of water has the lowest priority. Now the question is, is it symbolic? Maybe it might be symbolic, but the point is that sometimes, you can see, during crisis situations, such symbols do work because the government has been sleeping over the matters, not present government, I'm saying. Government over the last 50, 60 years. Yes. It's not something new. Mm. Maharashtra is experiencing drought not for the first time, or a series of drought not for the first time. Maharashtra is not for drought, but governments have been sleeping. All, all the state governments have been sleeping. So jolt is needed at this stage. So that they should know that well where the priorities lies. It's not that well the, 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 the IPL should only be hit. There are, certain other, there are so many IPLs that are hiding behind in Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. Big restaurants, yes. you see. Yes, and if I could come to you, in fact, Manish, so many things are there, the Manish, number of things. Yeah, if we are talking about making a statement, if we are talking about actually getting the attention of the nation, yes. uh, which clearly it has, you know, I mean, I'm sure 50% of the people who didn't know about the situation in Maratwara definitely know mm. at right now. They may not know what it has led to, or whether this is the third consecutive uh, and uh, you the, know, Let me come to the Maharashtra yes. sewer lobby. Sugar is not the appropriate commodity yes. for to be grown in Maharashtra. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go into that, we'll go into that step by what step. What has happened? Yes. Groundwater is exhausted now. Groundwater earlier in the olden days mm. was the reserve. Whenever the monsoon used to fail, from people used to take water from groundwater. Mm -hmm. Now, that reserve is gone now in Maharashtra. So what will people do? Sugar lobby is mainly responsible for that. That's right. But again, that is also related to farmers to a certain extent. And people are saying, you know, let's not touch that. But what about, you know, a lot of questions being uh, raised about five-star hotels. Why should they be getting, you know, water? What about the swimming pools? What about, for that matter, the uh, Mahalakshmi, the, you know, the race course? Some money yeah, and things the like house. that. If you do want to, exactly, if you want to actually make 
and effort. There are many more that, that should be in line. Why just target the IPL? You know, as he, he has himself answered the question, what do you do when there is an emergency situation? You send out an emergency message. You, you, you tell the people that, you know, we need to take drastic steps. Hmm. So I'm sure if there was some other competition going on, the courts would have intervened in that. Hmm. And, you know, referring to, you know, you, you also said in your intro that people are raising questions. Activists are <coughs> questioning the wisdom of the court. So, you know, to that, uh, my counter question is, what does the court do when, you know, the expectations are so high from the government, uh, from mm. the people, mm. especially in a condition, in a situation where successive governments have not performed to the expectations of the people? Mm. You know, this is not a situation which has come for the first time. And I'm sure this is not, you know, uh, uh, it's not going to last only this year. Mm. Every year we'll have some problem mm. over water, uh, water shortage. But since the governments are not doing this, the people approach the courts. And this is where actually, you know, people also start talking about uh, the interference of courts in uh, the executive domain. Mm. But since the governments of the day, they, they refuse to act, the courts have to send out a larger message that either you act or we will. Mm. You know, it might be symbolic, as he has rightly said. But sometimes in emergency situations, symbols do work. People, you know, we would, we would not be having this discussion yes. if the courts had not intervened. Mm -hmm. I, I personally, I, I may have problems with the uh, high court judgment, I, their reasoning, mm. because there was an alternative uh, that was offered to the high court judges. Mm. They could have very easily accepted that. And, you know, mind you, the water that is going to be saved in uh, in, in in this situation, it is not going to Mahara, uh, to Maratha. Exactly what I was coming to yeah. Shambit with. You know, we understand successive governments. We are not going to just blame your government. You know, of the water shortage that we are of course seeing in Latur and all the areas there. Uh, successive governments, of course, have failed. But what now? What happens now? Now that this, you know, the High Court has given its judgment, the IPL will or will not, and most probably will, of course, shift out its matches. But those supposedly 60 lakh litres of water which they were supposed to have saved now, uh, what happens to that? That anyway does not go to the Marathwara region, does it? Or is that some way you can actually transfer all that water? It's not possible. No, uh, we are discussing this whole issue, whether that 60 lakh would be transported, can be transported, will not be transported, only because of the fact that we are banking on a so-called symbolic gesture mm. uh, of the court. And I believe, well, uh, all said and done, it's fair in democracy that whichever side we may sit on the judgment, but at the end of the day, discussion and debate is important and mm. to answer people's queries is absolutely important. As you have uh, rightly questioned, what now? I mean, that's why I'm here to yes. answer as to uh, what the government would be doing. See, as far as uh, Maharashtra and particularly Marathwara is concerned, approximately 82% of Marathwara is dependent on rain-fed irrigation, mm. of which 52% is prone to drought. So naturally, we have to work towards irrigation. Irrigation is not a, uh, not a short-term job. You know, it, it has a long-term uh, prerogative. It has a long-term rollout. As rightly pointed out by you, successive governments have not worked. And mostly there has been a Congress government, both in the centre as well as in the uh, state of Maharashtra. Surely, as far as this government is concerned, because in the same judgment that came day before yesterday, the court had asked the government to submit a measure hmm. book also, the affidavit as to what the government is doing hmm. as far as drought is concerned. The government submitted the affidavit. The court is satisfied with the affidavit as of now. There were short-term measures and there were long-term measures. Short-term measures mostly catering to three aspects. One, the people and the drinking water as to how the drinking water uh, would be provided to the people out there through tankers, through the uh, railways, mm. uh, through immediate measures, and then the cattle, how the cattle sheds have been constructed across the districts and how these cattle sheds are being managed. And thirdly, how the wage of the rural wage through Manrega is increased in these areas. So the government had submitted what it called its po water policy, as I was pointing out, the drastic water policy ranging from October 2015, when there was an expectation that probably a drought would be hitting uh, Marathwada reason till July 2016. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, sir, you know, uh, I have to take this point again and again because that's what we are discussing about, you know, the fact that it was mere tokenism. Uh, you know, th uh, the BCCI did say that they are using sewage-treated sewage treated water. They are not actually, since you are distinguishing, you know, be between drinking water and commercial use water. The BCCI did say, and even the the even Nagpur and Pune, uh, the the cricket clubs, they had in fact said that they would 
uh, contribute you know, a certain amount of money as well in order to be able to buy water uh, to send to these particular regions. Uh, why don't you think that was taken into account? That would have helped definitely. You see, the point is that to say that that water also has got alternative uses. See, there is economics always says that all the economics always work with alternatives. So long as there are alternative uses, then the question is which is the better alternative use? Mm. That for that IPL cricket or for something for something else, that water can be used for agriculture. Agricultural crops are also dying. So that is better, socially better the use of that. Mm. So that is how the court might have thought over it. Okay. 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 No, yes, no, no. So, so long the alternative yeah. options, that question is always there. It's not that only one option is there. You know, apart from the fact that the courts are, uh, that obviously there is alternate use for everything, yes, yes. including water in this case. And uh, But in this case, the court decided in its wisdom that since we have no way of knowing that actually the water, sewage treated water is being used at the stadium. So that is why they refuse to allow that. Mm. So, but, you know, I, I, I come back to the original point that, you know, the governments are not doing anything. Even, you know, governments, I'm sure they could have come up with the plan, yes. you know, before the courts intervened. Absolutely, Somebody because to, it's not yes. like, it's not so like it IPL has suddenly started also consuming wake so much water. Up only yeah. when the courts intervene, when the courts ask a question, yes. ask a probing question, hmm. you know, and had it not been the IPL and I had it been, you know, uh, I think had it been a kabaddi match, Maybe such a, you know, noise would not have happened. Okay. Because it is IPL, because it's a signature tournament involving, you know, which the world watches, everybody waits for the IPL calendar. So that is why the courts have sent out a message. And if 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 the government, has, government of today in Maharashtra has learnt its lesson, so maybe next year courts will not have to intervene. Okay, Mr. Bhatt. As far as the government's permission, because the question that comes now is, why did the government permit the IPL to be held in Maharashtra in the first place? I mean, that was answered by the additional attorney general in the, on the floor of the court, saying that first the state government doesn't have to give a permission. As far as water permission is concerned, that is managed by the corporation. As far as entertainment tax is concerned, that is managed by the local collector. So you don't need to have any kind but of it permission doesn't, doesn't from the... doesn't all these taxes eventually come to the state exchequer? So see, see, as far as the tax is concerned, yeah. why should the uh, state, in fact, look away from a tax which is a positive tax, which is adding to its kitty, which is adding to the revenue of the state? 100 crore rupees was the revenue which was going to be added to the state. Mm. The water was the issue, rightly said. Water was the issue. The token that we are discussing over here is water. Mm -hmm. Water comes under the corporation. So corporation is the one which allows for water. And in fact, today I was talking to someone. I mean, let me forget for a while that I am a party spokesperson. Just uh, through a curious note, I would say, it's not that even after the IPL is stopped that these uh, uh, stadiums would not be watered. Absolutely. Because they would yes. be watered or, or else the stadium would come to a place from uh, we cannot play uh, thereafter. Yes. So they would continue to be watered because India does not want to lose some of its best stadium. Mm. Wankhade Stadium is one of the best stadiums of the country. So naturally the country would not say that, well, yes, let's lose out the whole yeah, stadium. Yes. So the watering would continue. I believe the frequency of watering might decrease. Mm. Yeah, see that uh, as Mr. Patra, Patra is right in a sense to mm -hmm. some extent that uh, government take, can take the plea that where the municipal, municipal cooperation is there and is there. But let's look here, Mr. Patra, this is a, a normal situation I'm talking of. Normally, the system works like this. But during emergency, a different type of system works. Okay? If that, that, and the people are suffering the ultimate response to the state government as per constitution of India. And the municipal corporation, panchayat, are all subservient to the state government and the state legislature. The state government has the power to supersede the municipal corporation. They supersede municipal corporations quite often, quite often, for on flimsy grounds. So here the state government cannot wash out its hand that no, no, responsibility of cooperation and so on. But I am not, because they have the tradition, let's not blame this government, yes. the state government. Mm. As I told you, I, have, I am studying Maharashtra. I for several other states water policy. I mean, actually, I'm helping a large number of several states in formulating and revising water policy at the moment right now. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, it is not only in Maharashtra. Several governments in Maharashtra last four, three, four decades yes. have been neglecting or neglecting mm -hmm. water. That is it. That is it. Yes. And so they just follow the same old tradition. This is bureaucracy just goes by inertia. 
That is it. Exactly. Uh, that that has happened. But oh, okay. a shock treatment is needed at this time, mm -hmm. so that public consciousness get arise. Yeah, but why does the shock treatment have to be only through the IPL? Maybe the government can give a shock treatment. The government can actually take over the the water mafia. That in itself is a big no, no, problem. No, 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 no. I'll just take 10 seconds yes, because yeah. she has asked the government. See, it's not that the government is not giving a shock treatment. In fact, if Jal Yukta Shivar is a plan of Mr. Devendra Fadnavis, which has been implemented in these areas, then it has been talked about internationally as well. And some of the great people, of uh, the ones who know about water, like Sir others, they have been talking about the Jal Yukta Shivar. As far as immediate measures are concerned, every immediate measure that is possible has been taken to initiate the situation. And we have seen the, uh, the wagons carrying the uh, carrying in for 5 lakh liters of water only recently this was first of its kind uh, initiative that happened in india so naturally it is not that the strain was nothing but a shock treatment mm. jalyukta shivar is nothing but a shock treatment waving of loans is nothing but a shock but treatment but this has come after 3 years of drought this has come after this is, all this i would say 4 years of drought 100 years <laughs> maharashtra is facing one of the worst droughts in 100 years i would say naturally irrigation is something which is a long term project mm. 70000 crore of money has gone from the public exchequer as far as irrigation is concerned in the last government. And we remember of the insensitive comment by, uh, by Ajit Pawar uh, uh, last time yes, also. Yes. But look, as far as IPL is concerned, I believe all said and done, uh, uh, if we have a neutral discussion, why IPL was targeted? Because, uh, though I am a sport lover, I would still say, IPL was targeted because of the very fact that IPL sometimes has a touch of vulgarity. I mean, the show, the pomp, uh, uh, I think that is the reason. Because people believe that, well, when people are suffering from the kind Many of drought that it has. Many people would think the five stars in the swimming pools that's are not vulgar. The See, very that, fact that you're wasting visible. so much money that's for That's not visible. The IPL is so visible yes. across the world. Uh, and sorry to state, it's not vulgar. But, but the pomp, the show, the joy... It's it's so visible. It's so visible that people say, well, when people are suffering in a corner of the same state, how dare you stand up and dance to cheer, cheer dancing? How dare you make such kind of celebration? So this is where I believe tokenism does creep in. Okay. The so, first and, step, and, and, and you know, uh, it, it amazes me that Samit has a response. You know, he has a take on everything. You know, he, he says that because of the pomp and show, and he also maybe in, I just suggested. Yeah, yeah. And he also, you know, I, I totally agree with you. I have no differences with you on that. And, you know, and he also refers to Ajit Pawar and his statements. There was an irrigation scam in the previous government. We are, uh, all are aware of that. Mm. You know, but that does not mean, you know, he's talked about 5 lakh uh, liters of, of uh, you know, uh, water being On transported. The train, yes. in 5 lakh uh, liters for how many people? 5 lakh people. It's not even a glass, yeah. you know, uh, yes. three glasses. So is, is, the, is a person going to... You know, a family of five, if it gets one glass or, or one bottle of water, what is it supposed to do with that water? Mm. So, but... What, and that what train I, went when? Yeah. Like earlier this yeah, week? Took, so yeah, now in these yeah. past five days, uh, uh, what has happened? Uh, no train yeah. thereafter. Yes. So what I have I've been trying to say is that, you know, now is the time for the government and especially because of this, uh, this order by the High Court that if you don't act, uh, you know, the courts will act. The courts have acted mm. to a small, you know, uh, uh, if need be, this push will turn into a shove. Mm. But finally, the governments know that the people, you know, a strong message has been sent out to the to everybody, including the government, that you act, you cannot remain, you cannot pass on the bug, you cannot say that we have come into power today and this is a problem which has been there for the last so many years. He talked about the municipal corporation, his political ally, the Shiv Sena is so heading that is running that municipal corporation so you should tell them talk to them you know you can you can talk to the opposition why yes. can't you talk to your own ally i'll give you a small example as to how the long term and the short term measures really differ sir had spoken about the sugarcane lobby yes. in his initial speech and it's a very important part because people are asking as to why the sugarcane which is a water intensive uh, yeah, absolutely crop, why not shift it to, uh, why not shift or, it to something yes, else yes. i mean look when bt cotton came to the area in 2006 I mean, it, it came with the view that, well, the yield would be quite high and the farmers would do well. In fact, from 2006 till 2008, initial few years, the mm. yield was really good. Mm. But thereafter, because it was not well researched, thereafter the BT cotton yield started decreasing. Mm. That's when people shifted to sugarcane. So the whole issue is how mm. much effort is the government of the day, state government or the central government, is putting towards scientific means of agriculture. That's the reason when the government talks of uh, initiating the drought situation in the long-term measure, 
Canada, the talk of how we should shift to gram cultivation, how we should shift to other kinds of cultivation. Soil health is so important. Mm. So these issues are of long term. Naturally, when Sir mm. says that, well, yes, short term measures should be taken, just one glass of water is not going to help. I agree with him. Mm. It's not that the government is just sending one glass of water for, it's not like that. The government is doing, if you allow me, I'll elaborate all the steps. But the issue is that long-term measures have to be looked through the prism of patients because I should not be held responsible for what was not done in the yester years. The, the IPL thing is important, not in itself, because for the, for, for the sake of awareness generation, if you want to solve a problem, the first step in policy science tells us is to raise the awareness about that. That awareness was not there. The waste is everywhere. It's there in my house, in your house, everywhere. It's there. It was there everywhere. It's there everywhere. See, the, the one fifth of water that comes to Bombay from long distance gets uh, doesn't reach Bombay because they're leaking pipelines. Nobody is there to punish the uh, the, the, the worker, the bureaucracy yes. for responsible for that. Yeah. Yeah. One fifth in Delhi. Again, so many million gallons of water are wasted. You can go, go around and see how much water is being wasted. Restaurants, how much water they are wasting. Absolutely. The wastage of water is there. Yes. But where is the awareness? There is no awareness. But so uh, let as us far hope as wastage of water goes, that's happening. Now IPL matches are going to be held in other parts. And it's not just Maharashtra yeah. is reeling with drought. Yeah. It's a ten others, and that, nine no, no, other states. It in may fact, happen. Right, it will cancel IPL altogether. That will be a bigger shock. There will be, in but, fact, more awareness you know, then. I, no, but, but the timing mm. and the place is very important. Mm. If okay. you hold it in the place where you are not as scarce, mm -hmm. that, that, that there won't be a problem. Okay, the timing is very important. Why select at this time you know, when you know that drought is there? Timing of agreement is very, very important. Hold it in the month of December, no, there will not be a problem. Okay. If yes, I can Manish, also, yeah. you know, a lot, of, a lot has been said about sugar crane. Yes. You know, uh, uh, I would suggest that, you know, they, they read um, uh, the wonderful piece written by my colleague in the Indian Express today. You know, where, you know, he has explained why, you know, sugar cane cannot be held responsible for what is happening in Maharashtra today. You know, by that logic, you should stop growing a uh, paddy, uh, sowing paddy in Punjab. Yes. Punjab in Mohali, where matches are being held today also, mm. you know, th uh, 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 that is also a past area. You know, it's a Kandi area, mm -hmm. as they say in Punjabi. There is water shortage. I have lived in Pan uh, Mohali. Mm. And, you know, uh, uh, sometimes many days we don't get water. So, uh, stopping a sugar cane uh, crop or... Or paddy is not the answer. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, Sambit has uh, made the right noises. He has said that there has to be a long-term solution. Of, of course, we will give him his government a long time. Yes. But, you know, since the problem is because he's in power, yeah. so questions will be asked of and him. And we are looking for yeah. short-term measures. One of them, of course, being is banning those matches. But, you know, uh, short-term measures, can't it also be drought shaming those who are wasting water? Apart from the IPL, is the government hope? <laughs> planning to do something like this, no, or will I, it take another PIL to be filed for the court to take action and then ask the government, what are you doing about these people who are wasting water? Why not start rationing water? See, though on a difficult topic like drought, I, I should not be uh, rhetorical, but yet I could not afford. I have to be rhetorical over here. When you say that one has to take action against the people who are wasting water, I tell you, the day the Maharashtra government takes action against a single person who is wasting a drop of water, uh, the opposition will try foul and say, look how intolerant they are and they are punishing everyone. The whole thing of intolerance would begin. No, no, I mean, yes. All said and done, sir was absolutely right. These issues are issues of awareness. Uh, rather than legislation, these have to be just as Swachh Bharat is an awareness campaign. It cannot be, well, yes, to some extent you can go and find people. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you litter on the road, if you split on the road, as we see in Singapore and other countries mm -hmm. and in India also, mm -hmm. uh, things have started rolling in that line. Legislation is important, but only to an extent, because after all, we are a democratic country. Mm -hmm. So naturally, not wasting water is something which has to be within the ingrained within our culture of functioning. Which, in fact, we're all so taught that is the problem kids, with, but then uh, That is the problem yes. with all politicians, yes. and some with included, uh -huh. yes. that they want everybody to do everything, mm. but the government should, uh, you know... Uh, we'll should, just follow the yeah, basic rules that, and that, we'll wait okay. for the other agencies so now to do what they have to do. He's also, you know, dug up the uh, opposition for... Uh, and, you know, shifted the blame onto the... that if we take action... Boss, my very simple question to you is, you start taking action and let the people decide. If a politician says no, an action should not be taken against somebody if he is wasting water, mm -hmm. you know, the people will... 
people, you know, uh, you cannot have both sides of, uh, 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 you cannot have the cake and eat it too also. Okay. No, no, it's not that the government yeah. has not issued, the government has not issued yes. notices. Government has issued notices to most of the, uh, uh, the high flyers, the five-star hotels, the industries in fact have been curtailed of water. Okay. Number of these uh, okay. establishments the, have been curtailed of water. Okay. It's not sir, that the government sir, is last not doing. Uh, Mr. Chibar mentioned about Punjab. Mm. See, same, the, prob the problem of Punjab is being discussed again and again. I myself had the good or bad fortune discussing this matter with the Punjab government. I said, what are you doing? You are going to convert Punjab into a desert after 50 years. You go to do it like this. Paddy is not suitable crop for Punjab. And they realize that. You know, farmers are saying that, well, what can we do? The choice between economics and ecologies. Ecology, government pricing policy. Sorry, can, well, that, that, I'm so, sorry, so, yeah. that, that, of course, perhaps so long -term is a topic for another day. day. Long -term so today, and long -term of course, we do that, agree that, 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 that IPL has been a victim of, you know, tokenism, no, no, are, of no, no, awareness. No, no. Uh, one I'm line sorry, solution, I'll say that, right? But uh, hopefully it's an above no normal monsoon. No. The government is, of course, happy with that prediction, yeah. and we are also such, happy such about that. Such situation arise again sorry. and again, uh, until and unless you adopt a water-centric approach. Okay. Very, very important okay. in Mr. policy Parker, development. I hope you're listening to that, Definitely. and yeah. I hope you implement <laughs> that, of course. But that's it on the big picture. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.